Hi, how are you? I'm Anthony from Cypher House Escape, and today I'm back with video 3 of the CMU Puzzle Hunt. As of the end of last video, we've managed to solve 5 of the feeder puzzles. We haven't unlocked any meta puzzles yet, but we do have 3 more feeder puzzles unlocked that we can check out today. So I'm going to open up these 3 puzzles that we have currently unlocked, and start my timer, and we're gonna get going. So the newest puzzle is Honest Poker. Um, we have Keep Talking and Nobody Explodes, and You Have Died of Dysentery. So let me give Honest Poker a quick read here. To pass the time at night, a few travelers decide to sit down and play a game of Commune, also known as Liar's Poker. This looks like it could be a duck conundrum puzzle. Alright, so this one looks a little bit complicated. Um, maybe I will check it out at some point. But as is customary at this point, I'm going to spend a couple minutes at the start of the video staring at You Have Died of Dysentery and seeing if I can come up with any better ideas for what to do on it. I think I actually see something for You Have Died of Dysentery here. Um, like I've said in previous videos, I think these symptoms are hinting at some way to sort these words below the patients by the symptoms. But what I notice now is for chills, there are words here that can follow or precede the word cold. So for example, we have catch cold, we have cold shoulder, and we have cold sweat. Okay, so for the chills, we are adding the word cold. We have catch cold, cold shoulder, and cold sweat. So can we come up with anything similar for these other symptoms? I think for dizziness, it might be that the words are read backwards. Because we have desserts can then be stressed, deliver can be reviled, and regal can be lager. Oh, I just saw um, each of these has a word with H2O in it for water, so that probably goes with dehydration. Thumbhole has two H's and an O, so does though, and so does whorehound. So actually, if I remove the H2O from each of these words, I get new words. We get tumble, tug, and around. Okay, I've spent about 15 minutes so far on You Have Died of Dysentery, and I don't feel myself making a lot more forward progress at this point. So I'm going to um, switch to a different puzzle and uh, hopefully make some more forward progress. I think I want to take a look at Keep Talking and Nobody Explodes. Okay, let's listen to this recording and see what we get. Hell, I'm stuck inside this mountain with a bomb. All I want to know is how it is outside. The bomb doesn't have a digital timer. It has an analog clock that's going clockwise. Here's a description of the bomb. The first two modules are paired together. They describe a square with the lettering going clockwise. The third and fourth modules describe separate lines that point in the same direction. They are associated by a parallel port. The final two modules describe a triangle that shares a side with a square, with the lettering going counterclockwise. The first module's assignment says, There is a sign that says F and B are starting locations. From the top end going clockwise, the colors are blue, yellow, green, red. Okay, I'll read off the flashing colors now. The first one is red, 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 blue, yellow. The second one is yellow, green, green, yellow. Next module looks like a maze. It's a 6x6 six six grid, and there's some black squares, including 5 in the bottom 2 rows. Okay, I'm gonna pause it for a second, um, so that I can maybe make sure that I'm taking all the notes that I need. So he said, for Simon Says, the starting positions are F and B, I think? And then he said, the colors around Simon Says are these, and then these are the two patterns that he sees. So if I understood this correctly, modules 1 and 2 describe a square with lettering going clockwise. I'm thinking that this is all going to relate back to this diagram in some way, and that our ultimate goal is to place letters in these vertices um, that we're then going to read off for the final answer. Okay, so blue, yellow, green, and red are from the top and going clockwise. So blue, yellow, green and red. So this is how the Simon Says module is organized. Okay, I'm gonna listen to the maze now. I'm hoping that things are gonna start making sense soon. 
Next module looks like a maze. It's a 6x6 grid, and there's some black squares, including 5 in the bottom 2 rows. It's not symmetric though. There's also a bunch of clues. Here are the across ones. 1. Offensive statistic, abbreviation. 4. Pet with plant seeds. Okay, so this is a crossword. We're, we're making a crossword puzzle. Interesting. Okay, so this is going to be my maze over here. I'm going to start keeping track of the clues that he reads out. 1. Offensive statistic, abbreviation. 4. Pet with plant seeds. 6. Weakens a video game character. 8. With fire, a Nintendo role-playing game. 10. New soul singer name. 11. Parent organization for Carl's Jr. Here are the down clues. 1. Puberty skin condition. 2. How do you like blank apples? 3. Pink guy from 1-2 oatmeal. 5. Duck insurance company. 7. To track, especially to find hiders. 9. Method for approximating most probable parameters of a model. Abbreviation. Next module is wire sequences. Probable parameters of a model. Abbreviation. Next module is wire sequences. Each wire connects to a word, but the- <laughs> He goes so fast. I'm trying so hard. Whew. Okay, I think I got most of the clues. Um, offensive statistic puberty skin condition is probably acne. How do you like them apples? Okay. Okay, ATT is a stat in football for attempts. One, two, oatmeal. Who's the pink guy? Kirby? Oh, attack is an offensive statistic. ATK. And so this is Kirby. Pet with plant seeds is Chia. Weakens a video game character. Um, nerfs. With Fire, a Nintendo role-playing game. Um, fire Embassy, I believe, right? Or fire, fire Emblem. Okay, so that has to go here. Emblem. Um, so Acne goes here. Them and Kirby. Chia goes there. Here we have Nerfs. CKE is the parent company for Carl's Jr. That's going to have to go here. Um, I'm guessing this is Aflac, the insurance company, to track especially to find hiders. Seek, like hide and seek. I don't know what this missing letter is because I don't know what a new soul singer name is. Oh, new soul is Y-A-E-L. So we've solved the crossword puzzle for the maze, but the question is, what do we do with that, you know? Oh, actually, I have an idea of what we might be doing with that. In the Simon Says, it said F and B are the starting locations. So I'm guessing those are these two spaces here. And so for the first one, I, I think this is mapping something out. So the first one is saying red, 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 blue, yellow. So we go left, 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 up, right, which spells French. The second one, I'm going to color orange. And it starts at the B, it goes yellow, green, green, yellow. So that's right, down, down, right, which is black. French, black. So is this another, is this another crossword clue? Oh, maybe it's um, black in French, which is N-O-I-R. Okay, so I'm thinking this is the solution for the first two modules, and they're going to go somewhere within our final diagram. So next, we need to combine the wires puzzle and the complicated wires puzzle to get some more letters. Oh, this puzzle's really fun. I really like this puzzle so far. Next module is wire sequences. Each wire connects to a word, but the words look altered. I'll read off the six wires. Black wire to eight. Black wire to alive. Blue wire to wafer. Red wire to rugs. Red wire to firm. Blue wire to tonic. Okay, I'm not quite sure what we're doing with the wire sequences, but it gave three different colors of wires and um, words that they're connected to. So black was connected to alive and eight. So um, now let's listen to complicated wires and see what we do with that. 
Next module is complicated wires, except it looks like we need to place the wires between two sets of words. The left column is socks, faux, sacks, wax, tricks, reflex, locks, marks, links. The right column is hits, hosiery, machinations, opponent, pouches, reviews, tags, tresses, unites. Apparently, the right column has treasures, but I don't know how far to dig into each word to find them. Okay. <laughs> um, well, this puzzle looks like we're supposed to maybe just sort these by synonyms. So, like, the right-hand side is alphabetized and the left-hand side isn't. So, I think I'm gonna put, like, opponent with foe. Socks is hits, I think. Oh, hosiery, hosiery is socks. Tresses and locks are both words for hair. Unites and links go together. Tags and marks, I think. Okay, so I got at least one of these as sacks. It's probably pouches. Oh, wax, like this. Wax is hits. Machinations could be tricks. And is, is reviews reflex? And then my guess was to find, he says that there's treasures in the right column, but he doesn't know how far to dig in to get those treasures. I was thinking it was the length of the word on the left. So like socks is five letters, so we take the fifth letter of hosiery and get an E. This one doesn't work. I don't know what I need to do with this first set of words. I assume these two modules are going to come together in some way, just like the first two did. But maybe not, because like I don't see how that's going to work. I'm going to put the wires to the side for a minute, and I'm going to start looking at the last two modules to see if they go any better for me. So password is next. It was a password. There are seven positions. Hopefully I don't get a seizure shifting through these. First column. Blank, blank, one, blank, 20, blank, L. Second column. A, 21, blank, two, blank, 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 blank zero. zero. Seventh Seven column, blank, blank 20, 20, blank, zero, three, Q, blank. blank. I think I the think last two letters stand for a shape. The last two letters stand for a shape, whatever that means. So this looks like, this looks like it probably makes a seven by seven grid, I think. Oh, okay, so there's one letter in each column, and those letters are Latin SQ, and he said the last two letters stand for a shape. So what's a Latin square? A Latin square is an N by N grid filled with N different symbols, each occurring exactly once in every row and column. So it's Sudoku. So what are my different numbers? We have zero, one, two, three, and then we have 20, 21, and 22. So we're basically doing Sudoku, but with these numbers, I think. Um, so we need a one here, we need a two up here, and we need one in this row still, which has to go here. Okay, so all our twos are in the grid. Uh, 22 has to go here, three has to go here, and 20 goes there. The other ones go here and here, so that's all our ones. The bottom row needs three, 20, and 22. We need 22 here, um, three and 20. Okay, so we've solved our Latin square passwords puzzle. I'm assuming that might be all that we have to do for that one, and then keypad is going to tell us how to interpret this in some way. So let's listen to keypad. The last, the last module, module is keypads. keypads. There's, There's five, five symbols, symbols that look like they're from the alpha beta. The first, the first symbol looks, looks like a cannon, cannon with a very, very short muzzle pointing, pointing right. right. Second, Second symbol... symbol... Let me see if I can find this alpha beta. Oh, is it is it from the Greek alphabet? The first, the first symbol, symbol looks, looks like, like a cannon, cannon with a very, very short, short muzzle pointing, pointing right. right. Cannon with a very short muzzle pointing right. I think that's, yeah, that's this sigma here. That's a lowercase sigma. Second symbol looks like a hammer with a curved handle. Not really sure which one of these looks like a hammer. Okay, what's the next one? Third symbol is a circle. Fourth symbol... <laughs> Third symbol is just probably Omicron. 
symbol looks like a lowercase p. The fourth symbol looks like a lowercase p, so that's probably rho. Fifth, fifth symbol, symbol is a is backwards, backwards three. three. Backwards three. So that's an epsilon here. If we were maybe taking the first letter of each of these, can we spell something that way? Yeah, this is the tau that I was thinking of. So this looks like a hammer with a curvy handle. So I'm guessing that tau, even though it's not represented in this Wikipedia font, I'm guessing that tau goes here and that this is store. So the question is, what does this first puzzle represent? These two puzzles weren't actually interconnected at all. So maybe just their final description is related, and I'm guessing wires might do something similar. Maybe I should convert all of these to letters? Zero doesn't really convert to a letter. Oh, could it maybe be in the spaces where the, where the letters were initially? Yeah, that doesn't look promising. What did he say about this password puzzle again? Next, Next module, module is a password. Is a password. There, are there are seven, seven positions. positions. Hopefully, Hopefully I, don't I don't get a, get a seizure, seizure shifting through these. these. Shifting? So I think maybe we're shifting the letters of Latin square by the numbers that are in those spaces. So we shift L3, which gives us an O. Okay, so this spells out door. And so the two word clue for modules five and six are outdoor store. Could be a stand. That kind of makes sense because it says it describes a triangle that's attached to a square. Yeah, so like if we're filling in one of these house-shaped things, there's five circles that go around like that. So I think stand might be correct for modules five and six. Which brings us back to wires. What do we do with wires? Each, Each wire, wire connects, connects to a, to a word, word, but the, the words, words look altered. altered. So like, how are these words altered? What does that mean? Does that mean we like change a letter maybe? Okay, so if we change the A to an O in alive, we get olive, which I think is a black color. Um, but I also noticed we can change rubs to ruby by altering one letter. Firm can be changed to fire. Wafer can be changed to water. If it's E-I-G-H-T, then this changes to night. Okay, so what are the new letters that I've changed in here? We have N... O, T. So if this is sonic, then it spells not yes. So I think we're going with not yes as the answer. But now we need to know how to do the complicated wires. Apparently, Apparently the, right the right column has, has treasures, treasures, but I don't know how far to dig into each word to find them. X marks the spot. So many of the words on the left have the X sound in them. So if this is like socks like s-o-x then maybe the x goes on the third letter i don't know what's going on with this one though why isn't there an x here sax so maybe this one's u wax is this a t i'm, I'm thinking this is supposed to be southwest and that it's going to give me sw actually that makes sense for reflex and reviews i don't get what's going on with foe and opponent okay so this describes no and SW. So I'm thinking now maybe if noir goes clockwise, N-O-I-R like this. And if this is no from the second set of lines, then maybe southwest goes here. How it is outside. All I want to know is how it is outside. That's all I want to know. How is it outside? It looks like this REI is an outdoor sporting store. So now I'm wondering if it's like N-O-I-R. Actually, this might work. So if this is noir, with the letters going clockwise around the middle square, no in southwest could be parallel lines if they went like this. And then REI could be this bottom triangle Snowier? Is it snowier outside? Is that the answer? Okay, trying the answer snowier. Oh, thank goodness. Oh my god. That, <laughs> that one feels so good because this one took me so long. 
and my time is just over two hours. Two hours and two minutes. Now, of course, the first, like, 15 minutes of that was spent um, getting started on You Have Died of Dysentery, but still, oh my gosh, keep talking and nobody explodes. That puzzle was crazy. <laughs> I don't even know if, if there's going to be room for a second puzzle in this video. I did decide that I think I want to do another puzzle in this video, so I'm going to try to knock out one of the three puzzles that are currently unlocked. Starting my timer, now. Ten bandits have infiltrated your cavern. They've tried to fit in with the others in their wagons, but haven't quite done it perfectly. And then there's a bunch of crossword puzzle clues, it looks like. I'm really excited to do this puzzle because I really like the game Among Us. But I think because I started the video putting in some time into You Have Died of Dysentery, I think I want to push just a little bit harder on this one to see if I can get a little bit further. I need to figure out how these can be modified in some way for drowsiness, flushed skin, stuttering, and voice loss. For drowsiness, I keep thinking about the letter Z because you often see Zs written above somebody's head when they're sleeping. Uh, so I'm trying to figure out if I could add, oh, quartz. I could change quart to quartz if I added a Z to the end of that. Uh, we could make zone. Oh, czar. So I think that's what we're doing for drowsiness. We're adding a Z. What could we do for flushed skin? Uh, so when somebody's skin is flushed, they are red. So could I add red into each of these? I, I noticed some things before, like blood red. I think coral is a color red, isn't it? Yeah, so coral red is a color. And we know blood red is a color. This is coral on the screen here. Yeah, so I see blood red and coral red, but I'm really not seeing the one for this last category here. Stuttering. Okay, so when I think of stuttering, I think of repeated letters. So do I need to add a repeated letter? So like late could become latte. Scared can become scarred. Oh, coral can become corral if I add a second R. So maybe I'm wrong with how these uh, flushed skin clues are working. The other options, since I haven't had any great ideas for what to do with these two, um, symptoms yet, the other option is to try to guess what's going to happen once we finish with this process. We're obviously going to be left with one word for each patient, and my guess is that those words are going to spell out some final answer for us. Um, there's a couple of possible options that it could be, but the thing that stands out to me is that patient 3 has this number 8 in it, which means if patient 1 and 2 are a clue, 8 could be the enumeration or the length of that clue. And looking at the possible pairs for patients 1 and 2, it would make sense to me if this puzzle about um, symptoms and ailments was getting at an overall blood disease that's 8 letters long. The most common blood disease that's coming up in my uh, crossword puzzle searches is leukemia. And leukemia also happens to be eight letters long, so I'm going to try this as the answer to You Have Died of Dysentery. All right, trying leukemia. No, leukemia was not correct. Okay, so it's looking like I won't be able to brute force an answer out of this puzzle so easily. Ooh, I found it. <laughs> I was staring at this for a while. Uh, I'm pretty sure for voice loss, we remove the vowels. That's why we have so many of these words that have a Y in them, because Y can be a vowel sometimes. But if we remove the vowels from Craypot, for example, we get Crypt which is still a word. Similarly, if we remove the vowels from scary, we get scry. And if we remove the vowel from stay, we get sty. And we need to simulate flushed skin. I, I just don't see this one. I feel like it has to do something with color because flushed skin in general just has to do with getting like color in your face. And so many of the words that we have left have to do with 
color. I don't know, was I missing a blood disease that was eight letters long? Because those three options are still here, and I felt pretty confident about that. Okay, so I just had a bit of an idea. Um, I wasn't feeling too good about Catch Cold being up here, because for the other two, um, Cold came before the answer, and this one, Cold, comes after. Uh, but I also didn't have another great idea. Um, cold blooded stood out, but cold blood I wasn't super familiar with. Um, I did just look it up though, and cold blood is a thing. So maybe the answer is going to be catch disease eight. So a search for catch disease that's eight letters long, I get the word contract. Contract could make sense. Contract is correct. Oh, thank goodness. <laughs> I was worried I was going to be staring at this one for a very long time. One hour and three minutes spent staring at those remaining couple of symptoms. I kind of want to know what the flushed skin was. I assume it had something to do with colors. Okay, so I'm looking at the solution file here, and for flushed skin... Uh, the answer was to make the word red. So blackberry has a red analog of raspberry, emerald has a red analog of ruby, and this one actually did cross my mind while um, solving the puzzle. I, I thought of roses are red, violets are blue, but I couldn't really make that work for these other ones. At least I didn't see the, the red analog. So that ends another video of the CMU puzzle hunt. We are done with seven of the feeder puzzles. Um, again, we have, it looks like 18 feeder puzzles. So we're nearing the halfway point, and we're also nearing the point where some of these meta puzzles are going to start to unlock for us. All we have to do is solve one more puzzle for meta one or meta two, and then we've reached our four feeder puzzle requirement for one of those two puzzles to unlock. So stay tuned to the next video for when I'll start digging into some of those puzzles. Thank you so much for watching, have a great day, and as always, happy escaping.